Frustration and uncertainty is clouding Ukraine's potential membership to NATO, whose leaders are meeting in Lithuania for an annual summit. President Volodymyr Zelensky has criticized the Security Alliance, calling it, quote, absurd for not setting a time frame. The Ukrainian leader aired his displeasure on Twitter, criticizing the bloc over its lack of readiness to either invite Ukraine or make it a member. He added that the uncertainty may present Russia, quote, motivation to continue its terror. NATO member, the United States, has ruled out any immediate entry for the war-stricken nation. NATO chief Jens Stoltenberg says discussions at the summit will send a positive message to Ukraine about its future membership. Western leaders are aiming to avoid a direct confrontation with Russia. The Ukrainian leader will be attending the summit, where he's expected to meet with U.S. President Joe Biden and other world leaders on the sidelines. Now, for more, Julia Chapman joins us live. She's in Vilnius in Lithuania. Julia, the summit has officially opened. Take us through, if you will, the key points from the opening address. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg spoke about unity and about bringing Ukraine closer to NATO, where he says the country belongs. But as we've been hearing, uh, there were some fiery words from the Ukrainian president. Uh, but most of what we were hearing from the uh, NATO leader was more emphasis on where there is common ground. And he was talking about putting up a, a strong show against Moscow, saying that Sweden's uh, accession. Now uh, the way has been paved by Turkey lifting its objection uh, that that sends a message to Moscow that it got its tactics wrong uh, and that NATO is stronger than ever. Uh, unity was another idea expressed by the Lithuanian leader in his opening remarks as he uh, hosts this summit here in Vilnius, saying that there are inalienable principles of NATO as an alliance, including unity and solidarity, as well as transatlantic support. So uh, certainly the emphasis will be in the next couple of days on what can be agreed, not where there is division, but certainly there is a lot of division between members as to what uh, Ukraine's future membership looks like. Uh, and there does, uh, we understand, appear to have been a communique that has been drafted. It hasn't yet been finalized, uh, but undoubtedly there will be a lot of behind the scenes discussions between these leaders as they're meeting in Vilnius to try to get to some sort of agreement that is palatable for Ukraine as well. What we do know, Julia, is that there's no time frame, at least for future membership for Ukraine, and Ukraine is becoming increasingly frustrated by that. Is it possible that we could see any progress at all on that point during this summit? Well, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky had previously said he wouldn't come to Vilnius if he hadn't received some sort of clear signal and concrete steps. But we understand he will be coming uh, on Wednesday to meet with leaders here. Uh, despite that, he has hit back in this tweet, uh, criticizing NATO, saying Ukraine deserves respect, uh, calling on some sort of timeline or invitation for NATO membership, which he hasn't appeared to have received so far. Nevertheless, he seems to be coming anyway. He's going to have these discussions with other leaders, trying to get as much of a concrete promise of membership as he can gain. And he says without one of those, uh, it is simply allowing Moscow a, a window for further aggression. He says that it's leaving open the idea of Ukraine's NATO membership to be a bargaining chip in some sort of peace talks with Moscow in the future. That is something he wants to avoid. He says Ukraine's future is inside NATO and he wants to see progress on that this week. Julia, thank you for that. Julia Chapman, they're speaking to us live from Vilnius.